just wear a shirt over it. Just a little button now, just something in case, worst case scenario, it's not that cool. All right, just some sort of coverage, just for me. The male part, I only pop up about once a year. And I was like, great. So I grabbed my baton, I head out the door. No. But seriously, I almost had one. She almost talked me into that. That's where I was headed. I had no guidance, I don't know. So I head down, so I go to school, do, do, do. And I go to, uh, we play kickball before our first hour. So I go to recess, and I'm um, sitting against the backstop. I'm like, what's up, gals? What's happening, ladies? You know, just kicking back. Just the normal daily drill. And uh, they're playing a little kickball game. I'm actually pretty good at kickball. I don't want to talk about that. I'm a little bit of an athlete, but... Let's focus on this story. I mean, you roll it down, I'm going to kick it pretty hard. That's all I'm saying. Seriously, some guys bounce it, which is illegal. Either way, I'm going to whack it. So if you're the pitcher, might as well roll it so you can sleep at night because you won't be a cheater. Because either way, you're going to get shelled. But that's neither here nor there. So, so here I am. I'm kicking back, you know. And so I'm ready to make my move, you know. I'm ready to unveil the little spade face on my shirt. This is such a true story, it scares the shit out of me. Because I'm going back to it, back stop. This is like pre-hell. So I'm like this. This is when things are still going good for me in my life. And it was like the last 40 seconds of good. So I go... Pew! <laughs> Open it just a little bit, just so you can see a little feathered hair. Wing! You know? There's no trouble yet. So everyone's kind of doing the game. So I go, hey, everything's cool. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> Start to take it off. Gets about halfway over my shoulder, and I think that's the first time that the whole school in unison yelled, QUEER! And I go, ah! button up, ah! ran to my first room, dove under the desk. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. My BP is like 10,000 over 50,000. I was freaking out, the whole school comes in. Ah! They're like, oh my god, Spade's got a picture of himself on shirt. I was like, no, I don't, no, I don't, no, I don't. This is why I'm going to hell. I go, I swear to god, I don't. First lie. I swear to god, I don't. I was totally up against the wall. And so, I was like, beep, 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 beep. And then they go, and then they go, yes, you do. And then here's my other horse shit defense. I go, they can't even do that. They, they can't even put a picture on a t-shirt. Did you hear what he said? Isn't that funny? <laughs> Meanwhile, that's all they can do to t-shirts, put pictures on. I would have gotten killed in cross. I was unbelievable. So I sat there and they go, we should put it in the time capsule. So in 2010, they can know what a fruitcake you were for prosperity. Sad. So I might dig that up. We should go dig that up. But here's the upside of fifth grade. The only good thing is Brad Pitt went to my school. Brad Pitt for one year went to my school. And he was, he was a little lady killer back then. He's a good looking kid. I'm telling you, even back then, you could tell he was a cutie because I remember when I got my class picture and I brought it home. My grandma, I was staying with my grandma, so she was checking it out and she was looking at it. She goes, Oh my gosh, Davey, you have to be the cutest boy in that whole gall darn... Oh my God, I'd fuck that kid. <laughs> Holy shit, you know this dude? Hook me up, I'm your grandma. Take care of me, I used to take care of you. Do something for me, that kid is a piece of ass. Oh my God, I want to get in there and do some damage. Rattle it around. Grandma, easy. God damn, the other kids in your school are so gross. Grandma, I go to that school. I know you suck. Where's this dude? Get on it. Now it's totally weird. It's totally weird now, because now I see her. And I go, hey, Grandma, what's up? She goes, did you call your buddy for me? No, dick. You're such a dick. My God. You said you knew him, and I called you on your shit, and you pushed out like a fairy that you are. Oh my God, I want to bite that guy's ass. Ah! Speed bag is nuts. Hada, 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 hada. Ah! Yeah! Grandma, I think he's seeing somebody. I don't give a shit. I know tricks. <laughs> Zippity doo doo. <laughs> Grandma knows some shit. I put a long tail on that kite, didn't I? <laughs> Zippity-doo-doo. 
Good God. So I see all my friends from high school around. You know, it's funny when you see people that you went to high school with that are like the same. You know, one of my buddies is kind of a little dealer. He's like a little lowball drug dealer from high school. He had like weed and speed and some stomped on stuff. And it was just like, you know, he's doing the same thing now. So sad. He's got like $40 million, you know. <laughs> lives in a mansion, 18 cars. He's a loser, right? I mean, <laughs> no, he's the same. He lives in his mom's basement. The only thing different about him is he has this big aquarium now. So all he does is sit home all day and stare at a fish and go, look, he goes over there a lot. <laughs> all right, I can't do this anymore, dude. I have a job. Thing was, he has all these like psycho uh, pets because he's a dealer and he's like whacked out. He has like a monkey and a tarantula and a gila monster. So when we were growing up, he had this tarantula and he always wanted him to walk on me because I was scared of it. And it was his only joy left in life because he was so dullened by drugs. So, but on the other side, he'd give me free weed if I let it walk on me, even though I was scared of it. And so I'd let him. Sometimes it's sad. I shouldn't even tell you that. But he'd give me like a little dirty bag of shake if I do it. So I'd be like... <laughs> so <laughs> he'd always go, let him walk on you, dude. <laughs> you know the deal. Let him walk on Look, he's walking on you, dude. <laughs> Don't act scared. They can sense it. Oh. <laughs> so then he put him down. Always try to get him high because he's just kind of dirt ball. So he go, hey, dude, what's up? <laughs> he's feeling it. He's starting to freak out, dude. Look at him. He doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> He's pretty good. Meanwhile, the is exactly the same. <laughs> Nothing different about him. He's like, <laughs> oh my god, Shh, don't tell him. Oh <laughs> Trance is going, I can't believe I should be in the desert. I'm on this loser's lime green beanbag chair. It's blowing these shit weed hits in my face. I'm not even high. He's stoned off his ass like a lightweight. He's a dealer, no less. His mom used to get stoned too, which was just, just like, uncomfortable at best. It's always weird to be doing a bong hit with his mom hanging over me, going, "Pull it through, you pussy." Let's go, dude. If you cough, you get stoned there. Really? Is that popping that rush tape? Yeah. Begin the day with a friend. Please, Mrs. Richmond, it's hurting my ear. I sound like him. Listen. And the song of truth, sir. Please, uh, you, you really don't. Shh. No, no, I, you know, you made me lose it. <laughs> Kick it up again. Do free will. I know that one pretty good. Why does she sound like a guy? I don't know. They all sound the same. All the fake voices of people that I never met. Things that didn't happen. Skinner. <laughs> <laughs> So I, uh, I was trying to get a job when I was growing up, and I was a total loser. My mom was like, get a job, loser. And I was like, nobody's hiring. <laughs> Everyone's hiring. I can't find it. I've been everywhere. She goes, go down to McDonald's. March down to McDonald's. They're always hiring. Your grandma works there. Go down there and work with her. She's like, I don't want to work with grandma. We're not getting along right now. So I go down there. The thing is, the good thing about McDonald's is these people still care about their jobs. The one place they still give a shit. They all have little hats on, little name tags, suit, computers, and they're ready to rock. Focused. I'm into it. So when I walk in, I always connect with somebody. I build up a little trust. Me and you, dude. Me and you. Right here. And then at the last second, I go, eh, juke him out and go to someone else. He's like, shit, what does he care? They don't get commission. So I go, and he goes, and they're a little cocky, too. Can I help you? And I go, you know what, Steve? You can't. I'm gonna have a quarter pound of cheese. Boop, bop, beep, bop, beep, bop, boop. Anything else? Oh, yeah. French fries. Beep, bop, beep. Is that it? Oh, no. <laughs> Diet Coke. Then I give him the curveball. Uh, no onions on that quarter pounder. No idea what to do. Frozen in fear. Little bead 